What's up everybody, Greg here from Lens Pro to Go, and today we're going to be talking about the Narbox. About a month ago, Matt from Narbox sent us one to take for a spin. Now that we've had it for a while and a few new recent updates have come out for it, I'm ready to tell you my thoughts on it and how it fits into our process to streamline our social media content, and I'll show you our workflow to go from camera to final post. If you don't know what the Narbox is, it's basically a tiny computer. In here there's a processor and a hard drive, and then it connects via Wi-Fi to your phone, and they have a really well-designed app, which allows you to do a ton of different things like edit photos, edit videos, color correct, add music, chop stuff up, and then export it to your phone for quick and easy uploading. The box itself is water and dust resistant, and it's also shockproof so you don't have to worry about any of your files going missing if you accidentally drop this. There is card slots for SD and micro SD, as well as two USB ports, which you can use to hook up other hard drives to expand the storage, or plug in external card readers if you use something like CF, XQD, or CFast 2.0. The reason the Narbox caught my attention and I really wanted to try it out, which I mentioned a little bit before, is that we wanted to use it for social media, specifically for Instagram, either cutting short videos for actual posts or cutting stuff for Instagram stories that last only 24 hours. We were looking for a solution to streamline our production of shooting in DSLRs instead of on our phones because we wanted to have shallower depth of field, higher image quality, better audio recording, and overall a higher production value than what we were getting with our phones. The process that we were using before the Narbox came into play was we'd shoot on a 5D, we'd have to dump that footage to a hard drive on a computer, create a Premiere Pro project, edit that project, export it, then transfer it back to our phone to be able to upload for Instagram. Now our workflow is much easier. All we do is take the card out of the camera, throw it into the Narbox here, and then we open up the app on our phone, transfer all the files, start editing it, export and edit that we like, and now we can post from anywhere just using the Narbox and our cell phone. Another great feature that I'm not gonna go too much into is the ability to back up all of your files as well. So if you're out shooting a ton and you only have a couple cards with you, you can transfer everything to external hard drives using this little box, and then you can go ahead and format your memory cards and keep shooting. So now you know why it's such a great tool, let's take a deeper look at the workflow process. So I'm gonna take this card that I already shot some footage on on the A7S II, we shot in 4K, and we also shot vertical because this is gonna be used for stories. I'm gonna take this card and I'm gonna plug it right into the Narbox, and then I can close this up. So we can power up the Narbox and then head on over into the phone. You're gonna open up your settings and then go to Wi-Fi and look for the My Narbox Wi-Fi connection, click that, Make sure it connects, and then we can back out and go into the Narbox app. Once this opens up, we're gonna hit Devices, then we're gonna click on our memory card. Then in the top right, we can hit Select and start picking the clips that we wanna keep and edit on the Narbox. I'm just picking these few clips because I know these ones were the good takes, which will make it faster when I'm trying to cut it together. Once you have all the clips that you want, you can hit Copy Files, and then make sure Narbox is selected and hit OK. This will start transferring them all over to the Narbox. If you click the little spinning wheel right next to where it says Narbox, that'll get you into the Task Manager, and this will show you the percentage of how much is transferred over, but we don't need to wait for that to start editing. Let's just click the first video. I'm gonna start with this iPhone video, and then I'm gonna hit Edit up in the top right-hand corner. And you're gonna notice that all of these clips are sideways and that's because we shot with the camera vertical like I mentioned earlier. But don't worry about this for now, we'll deal with it towards the end. If you wanna skip having to rotate it, you can shoot horizontal. Just make sure that your subject is in the center of the frame and shoot a little bit wider than you normally would because when Instagram punches in to fill the nine by 16, it's usually a little bit more than you would think. But let's get back to the editing. In the editor, we're gonna to scrub to where we want the clip to start, and then we're gonna swipe down. That's gonna make this little orange mark. Then we're gonna tap the in point on the left, and that's gonna trim the clip to that orange marker. From here, we can fine tune it if we need to, and we get a notification that all the files have been transferred over. And then I'm just gonna play it, and when I'm ready for it to stop, I'm gonna pause it, and I'm gonna trim that by hitting the out point. Then we'll just swipe up to add it to the highlight reel, and then we can go back out and go to our next clip. I'm gonna choose this one from the A7S II. We'll go into edit, and we're gonna do the same thing in here, just trimming it to where we want the in point to be, and then trimming it to the out point. So I'll pause it, swipe down, trim the out point. Now before we swipe up to add this to the highlight reel, we're gonna go into adjust, and then we can start changing some of the colors like the exposure, shadows, highlights, white point, black point, color temperature and saturation. Then when we're done, we can swipe up to add it to the highlight reel. Now we're gonna back out and add our last clip, which is of the Narbox flying through the air. So we're gonna do the same thing. Click on that clip, go to edit, 
and then we're going to find our in and out points. There's our in point uh, right about there and pause. That's our out point. And then we're also going to do some color adjustments on this. So hitting adjust again, making those adjustments. And then once we're done, we can swipe up, but instead of leaving it, we're gonna hit the reel in the bottom right corner. This is gonna get us to our highlight reel where we can see the whole thing played together. That's looking good. The next thing that we wanna do is hit the music in the bottom right corner and add some music to it. I'm gonna to scrub to find the hit point, which is where I want the music to drop. Uh, and that's gonna be right after I finish talking and right where the B-roll starts to come in. So this looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit next. Then I'm gonna select the song. You can load a bunch of songs on here the same way, just throw them on the SD card. And then we're gonna find the hit point. So it's gonna be, you can look at the waveform and right about here is where it starts picking up. We'll hit done and that'll bring us back to the highlight reel and we can listen to it. There's no audio here, so you're not gonna be able to hear it, but the music and the audio from the clips is about the same level. So we wanna add some more weight to the clip audio and not as much the music. So we'll just use this slider that's right underneath it to favor the clip audio. Once you get that at a good level, we can go down and hit export in the bottom left corner. And I'm gonna do 4K because we shot in 4K. And then I wanna export it to my camera roll, not to the NAR box. I just want it sent right to my phone. So I'll hit that and it'll start exporting it to my phone. Now on the top, right next to where it says the highlight reel, there's those arrows spinning around again. If we click those, those will bring us into the task manager and we can see how far along the export is. And it's going pretty quick here. And the exporting's done. Now it's saving it to the camera roll on my phone. And once this is done, good, we can back out, open up our photos app and it'll load right in there but it's not rotated vertically, so we need to fix that. We're gonna hit edit, and then we're gonna hit those three dots with the circle and edit in iMovie. This will allow us to rotate it. So once this opens up, we're just gonna put two fingers on the screen and rotate it. That'll make it vertical, hit done in the top right, and now it'll save that as a vertical video. Now it's saved, we can back out of this, go into Instagram, swipe over to our camera, hit the gallery, click this video, Make sure that it plays back and you looks good. Take your videos from this to this. Find out how we did it using the NAR box. Which it does and then add it to the story. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough of our workflow to go from camera to posting. But by far the best thing about Narbox is the company that's behind it. They're really open to shooters input and they're constantly making this a better and better product through their firmware updates. They try to roll out at least two updates every month and with each of those updates comes new functionality, smoother user interface experience and better performance. I've been talking to the guys at Narbox about the crop and rotate feature, which you saw I had to do in iMovie earlier, and hopefully that will be coming out by the end of this year and you'll be able to do it natively in their app. Here's the big question, is the Narbox for you? I can say if you're in a similar situation, this thing has been fantastic and I've really enjoyed using it and it has streamlined our social media content. But the only way for you to know if you're doing something different with it is to get one, try it out, see if it helps make your process faster, better, and gives you more time to be doing the things that you want to be doing. That's all I got for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts on the Narbox in the comments below. Also, if you think it would be helpful for your workflow. If you wanna try one out or find out more, head on over to Narbox's website. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I'll see you guys next week.